every season, every chapter, every month of your life. I have a lot of things that I'm working toward. I have a lot of things that I have not yet mastered or accomplished, but I work on daily. What's up, YouTube? It's Curly's Victoria. I'm back in with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So let me just close this. I have been working on some business. I was, I've done multiple videos just like sitting here. I have to edit and um, pretty much... I'm so tired, but this video is about like, like stepping it up. Okay. We have clearly like a few more months until the, the year is over. We're in month eight already. There's 12 months in a year. We have about four months to actually like, just get it together. Now I know some people are getting it together and I know some people say, well, why do you have to get it together now? But if you would have gotten it together in the beginning of the year, you wouldn't have to be tr uh, trying to get it together now. I don't really believe in that philosophy because I feel like you can have a good jump start to your year. You can maintain a good jump start to your year, but it's not always about getting started. It's about how you finish. So for me, I say go equally as hard as you did to start the year because I don't believe in coasting. Like, obviously, if you get an opportunity to take a vacation or to do some things, awesome. But it's that moment when you feel like I've done a lot of work in the beginning of the year so I can afford to coast, that it's a problem. Because if you have that mentality like, oh, the last five months of the year, four months of the year is going to be my chill because I already did the work in the beginning of the year, then it's like you still sell yourself short. Because if you just continue to keep that same momentum from the start to the end and you just like keep it up, could you imagine what your results would be then opposed to if you just had the mindset of I can afford to coast and I'm going to coast? Whatever you do, whatever you're building, whatever brands you want, the goal is to literally set them up to be your most successful self at every season, every chapter, every month of your life. I have a lot of things that I'm working toward. I have a lot of things that I have not yet mastered or accomplished, but I work on daily. Obviously, you guys know that I'm big on if you continue to keep investing in yourself and believing your believing in yourself and doing the work, it's impossible not to have results because if you are exerting keep running out of storage, on, I keep running out of my storage on this device. But anyway, it's impossible not to see results if you keep exerting effort. So for me, I work on my goals daily. It we started a new month yesterday. Today is August second. Um, I have goals already for the month of August. Goals I had set in the past for this month and goals that I had to newly set because I've either checked off those goals or I now have more responsibility and I have more demand on myself. No one is going to push you to be the better version of yourself as much as you're going to push you. You might have people float by and say, hey, you should do this. But at the end of the day, you have to want success for yourself. You want to have to, you're going to have to want success more than you want to breathe. When I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go like look at the projects that I have to see how can I get from point A to point B to point C to point D to point goals. Um, so it's a daily strive. It's a daily. But the thing is, you have to believe in yourself and you have to will to do and you have to keep going. Consistency, discipline, like tenacity. Those are some of the synonyms or um, rather not even necessarily synonyms. I would say adjectives. To describe so those are the, some of the things you're gonna have to do to be successful my camera keeps dying because I'm running out of storage I have to clear some space but I'm trying to just talk fast so I can get everything out and I can literally put everything together in a video so sorry if it keeps dying but anyway you're gonna have to be on yourself these are things to describe what it's gonna take to be successful if you haven't felt like quitting ever in what you're doing you have to ask yourself are you in the right business are you within the right are you walking in your purpose? Um, do you really want to be successful? Because every successful person or everyone who's tr striving to become successful or has already made it to where they want to be successful as have felt like quitting on some day. The only difference that separates them from the other person who never made it was the person who never made it quit. They did not. So it's okay to feel like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to give up. If it's truly a passion of yours, it's truly something that you can't stop thinking about daily. Everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm involved in is thing, are things that I think about daily. Yes, it could get hard trying to figure out your marketing strategies and the, these different, how do I figure out the algorithms to this? How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I bring in this audience that's online in direct marketing? How do I make them direct marketing people? Like, you know, it's a lot of 
things that go into the business. And if you are a small business owner and you're doing all of the positions by yourself because you either one can't afford to have an assistant or two, you just need to know how the dynamics of your business work because you would hate to put somebody in position um, and you don't even know how your own position work or maybe you just do it part time so you can't even afford to give your own businesses as full time as you would like so you can't bring somebody aboard. Whatever your circumstances are, just know that it's possible to get where you want to get. You're going to have to exert energy. You're going to have to exert effort. If you work a nine to five or you even work a, maybe even jobs that aren't nine to fives, but you are basically working for yourself, then you guys know that it takes a lot out of you. If you if you work your nine to five, but you also want to run your businesses, sis, it's not an excuse that I'm tired because I work a nine to five. You have to get home. And even if it's an hour to two hours of working on your personal business each night, you got to do that too. Because if you know that, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with nine to five, but if you're somebody who wants to run a business as an entrepreneur and you don't want to have to go clock in, punch a clock, you want to set your own schedule, you're not going to be able to use things as excuses as to why you didn't do anything because you know what your excuses are going to do? Your excuses are only going to hold you back. If you really want something, you will do what it takes to get that thing. So for me, I'm literally grinding. I, I feel like part of the reason why I have bad insomnia at night, yes, there's fact, other factors probably factoring in, but your girl can't sleep because her, her passions keep her awake. In the morning, my passions wake me. I don't need an alarm clock because those wake me. You see what I'm saying? Obviously, if you got business meetings and things like commitments to set up for, you do want to set your alarm clock. Don't be sitting here talking about Curly so Victoria said, don't set your alarm clock because your passion should wake you. It should wake you, sis, but set that alarm too just in case it didn't wake you one day because you overslept it. Um, but yes, you have to go after everything that you want and you have to push hard. You have to go hard. You have to, you can't look to everybody else to motivate you. H half if not more than half of the people that you know and are associated with are not going to be able to even fathom anything you're saying as it pertains to being in business, in entrepreneurship, in any of those things. So you have to understand that half of the people that you are associated with or more than half of those people can't even support you on that level. And, and support is not always financial. I say this in a lot of my videos. I'm talking about being able to offer sound advice give substance advice or anything like that advice of substance none of that because they don't even fathom what you're talking about the mentality is small the the um, mindset is not where yours is and it can become frustrating you have those people you have to set your life in groups I know it sounds like clickish to do that within your life, but there's people, I love the people who are in my life. However, I know. So it's like, I know I can't talk to her about business. I know that I can't talk to her about, you know, fashion. Well, no, I don't even want to say fashion. Um, about marketing and strategizing and business endeavors. And I can't talk to her about this topic because she's not going to, there's different people in my life for different reasons. Um, doesn't make them any less important than others. But there's some conversations I know I can't have with this person that I can have with this person. This person doesn't even understand what I'm saying when it comes down to, to business. So you just have to understand where people are in your life and, and strive not to get frustrated when they don't understand. Because I used to find myself knowing that I had people in my life, you know, I'm not saying they were bad people in my life. But when your mindset is in the billionaire club, and everybody else's mindset is in the daily average club of not doing more than the bare minimum, it's hard to, you know, and, I, and you, like I said, you meet people for different reasons. And some people are just within your family. They could be within your friends and y'all could be friends from middle school, high school, elementary, whatever. And these are really good people to keep in your life. But when it comes to this conversation and it comes to these places, it's not to say that they're not being successful in their life. It's just that that next tier that you want to tap into of having no cap of having success of being that entrepreneur they don't understand you know and it can become frustrating because you want those people you love to understand where you're coming from but the truth is there's going to be people you're going to meet in your life who's going to become your family they're going to become closer to you than blood will even be there's going to be people who are going to be able to understand you closer than your close friends may be able to understand you when it comes to business don't knock it don't say, well, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that because X, Y, and Z. You're not going to be able to grow if you're comfortable. 
you have to get uncomfortable to grow sorry if i'm moving around a lot it's just the way i'm sitting on this floor on this mat it's kind of it's getting uncomfortable when you sit too long but you're gonna have to understand that you gotta grow where you're planted you might be in a space or a place in your life that you're not really privy to wanting to be right now but in the end of the day grow where you're planted if you can grow where you're just grow where you're planted if you can learn to do that you will go so far i remember though it's not the first time but one of the most crucial times that i grew where i was planted was when i made the executive decision to go to a completely different state to go to college and didn't know anybody at the time whole family lived in one state i was going to another state to go to college and it was in those years that i really grew where i was planted it was uncomfortable it was a different environment i had to sink or swim i had no um i had no one there that i like knew you know obviously there were some people i began to meet or some people who i knew back home who was like oh my aunt lives up there blah blah, blah. i didn't know anybody really when i went off to college and i grew so much in ways that i know i would have never grown had i stayed local not to knock anybody who decided to go to school local but I'm just saying that level of growth and that blossoming and that all of the things that transpired by me just simply deciding to go. Sometimes you have to go and ask questions later. Sometimes you have to let your feelings catch up later, but you have to go with that gut instinct. You have to do those things that you know that are going to take you where you need to go. Every time I've moved into a different state. Every single time I've moved, I've gathered and, and grasped opportunities that I never knew were coming unless I was on the other side. So sometimes your greatest self, in order to get there, you got to learn to grow where you're planted. You have to be willing to expand. You have to be willing to go when you don't understand and let your feelings catch up later if you keep waking up thinking about being somewhere in the world you keep waking up and saying i'm supposed to be in this state i'm supposed to be here i'm supposed to be there not because of who's there but because i'm supposed to be there i just feel it within my gut that there's something for me to either learn get gather or become go with a gut instinct i always say this plane ticket car trip you know anything it's always a way to get back to where you're from the last thing you want to do is live with regrets. If you have kids, it can't, it doesn't knock your vision. But if you don't have children, you're not married. This is the time to go, go, go. Because when you get that opportunity to actually be in that married situation or you have children, you then have to sacrifice. It's no longer about you. It's never going to be about you anymore. It's now about your kids, your family, your all of that. You're going to have to make sacrifices. If you say, honey, I want to move here. And he's like, no, I don't agree. Y'all got to come to a median. It's not about you saying, I'm going here and I'm doing it and I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Now it's a, okay, let's try to, you know, come to a middle ground. Let's just basically try to compromise. Do it while you can with no children, no husband, anything you want. Get it. And then when you have children or you have a husband, I'm not saying that you can't still go after those things because you can. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, take this time now to grow where you're planted. Take this time now to blossom, to become everything that you're supposed to become because in the end of the day, the last thing you wanna do is live your life with regrets and try to vicariously live through your children when they get to be of age to where they can make decisions for themselves. When I have children, I wanna be able to be their guide, not tell them what they have to do when they're you know older. I'm not gonna say you need to become a business major. You need to go become a lawyer. You need to have criminal justice. I'm not telling them what they need. I wanna hear what they're interested in. And I wanna be able to be that source, resource of help. Um, so live the life that you want so you don't have to one day vicariously live the life that you want your, children's to, your children to live. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. But that is it for today's Sunday check-in. Make sure you guys catch all the videos that I posted today because I think I gave you a good amount to be able to binge watch. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Later. It's only a little something. But why does it feel like it's true something?